you guys, like, seriously, thumbs up this video if you want me to do this makeup tutorial. Like, which is basically, like, a uh, pink and an orange, purple, and then with the ombre lip kind of thing. Thumbs up the video. Like, I want to do this makeup tutorial so much. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Is that a bird? Hello you guys, so today is a uh, kind of like an updated video, I did a video like this once upon a time ago, in my earlier, earlier videos, um, go look at when I first started, um, or if you're too lazy to do all of that scrolling down, I'll put the link in the description box below so y'all can go check that out, um, but when I first started, I did a video like this, it was called my top 10 favorite, um, I think it was lipsticks or lips, um, for spring, oh, okay, for spring, and now i'm not doing a top 10 i'm just like pulling randomly the top 10s are like it's hard to do a top 10 because all of them are equally your favorite and then once you do a top 10 you're gonna want to use the other ones more so it's like a, it's a vicious cycle okay so yeah all right so in this video i'm just going to show you my favorite lipsticks for the spring and summer um next video in, it's probably going to be like a little mini like Series. Next video will be my favorite lip glosses for this summer and spring, even though I don't really recommend it. But and then I'll do like blushes and then uh, eyeshadows and all this other stuff. So the first lipstick I talked about this in my um, top ten video, and this is the Revlon Lip Butter in Lollipop. I do have gumdrops still, and I love gumdrop now that I know how to work with it because I told you in that video that I didn't know how to work with it and it only really suited fair skin not for women of color I found a way for it to work for us so happy oh my gosh but this color is still my all-time favorite I don't use it as often as I would like anymore but as you can see I don't use it that much but if you see gumdrop like it's almost halfway gone so this is um lollipop and I'm going to swatch it for you as soon as I get this off of me. And it is such a pretty great color. And you can transition this into the fall if you like to. Um, I really like it in the spring and summer because it's just like that pop of color. And it makes your whole face light up. It's, it's kind of like the red. Uh, it's like the red of all blue. If that makes sense. Right? Okay. It makes sense. It made sense in my head until I said it out loud. And now it's like, here a moment. So another one which is in trend all year round, or when you're doing like a very dramatic look. Um, this one is the Wet n Wild um, long, the long lasting um, lipsticks, and these are really compared to Mac lipsticks. And this is in Bear It All. I've seen this all on Pinterest. And it's a matte nude. Like, it's seriously nude, you guys. Like, look at that. Nude. It's like a brown nude. And sometimes it can make your lips look dead. But, um, I feel like this one only works best when it, um, has a gloss finish on it. like Or, like, a pink gloss on it. Like, this one, which I will talk about later. But I like it matte on its own as well. Because it makes your lips look, like, tremendously big if you want to have fuller lips but don't want to spend all that money getting surgery or you don't really like the feel of lip plumpers get a nude lipstick it works every time trust so a color that i wear year round is this one by revlon i just love revlon's packaging because it just makes it look so sophisticated and everything i feel like my kids like it's one of those lipsticks where your kids are going to be like getting your lipstick and everything and trying it on and stuff like that's how great I love the packaging it just looks so sophisticated but this one is the super lustrous line and this is a cream lipstick and it's called kiss me Paul, which is an orange 
coral lip lipstick and I wear this year round um, because of the simple fact that it looks good on my complexion whether I've gotten lighter and my skin is where in the spring and summertime I get like caramel and then like you know fall and winter I almost look white like you can tell that I'm mixed with something you know and that is kiss me coral kiss me coral such a pretty color and in the fall and winter and you know how when you put a white base over your eyeshadows to make them pop more that is the concept with my skin when I wear this like since my skin gets paler 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 this pops even more looks more vibrant and then in the summer, spring and summer it looks toned down and more burnt orange I recommend it if you have my skin tone get kiss me coral and you'll be wearing it year round and everybody will give you compliments on it like I love wearing that lipstick with a plain white shirt gorgeous so of course Y'all know about these lip butters, right? Okay, so of course L'Oreal and um, Maybelline had to come out with their own and Maybelline came out with the Color Whispers. I have two of them to show you. So, well, I guess I should show you. Yeah. I have two of them to show you. So one of them is Pin Up Peach, which is so gorgeous. I love it. And I can mix it up for you. I just love pin up peach because it is such a um buildable color and it gives you like a sheer color now is it me or does these smell really funny like they smell like chocolate made for reason i don't know maybe that's because i'm fluffy but that is pin up peach and you as you can see it's like a gorgeous like pinky peach color and it's super super buildable so you can get it as almost as tense and as sheer as you want it to be so i really like the color with first concept even though they smell to me, they smell like chocolate, which makes them smell really good. I don't know. Maybe I have a, uh, a different smell. Like, tell me in the comment section below. Let's talk. Another one that I got is Pink Possibilities. I have a third one, but I don't really like it that much because I don't know how to work with it yet. Um, I just use it as a top color. But this is, um, what is it? Pink Possibilities. Much, much lighter than Pin Up Peach. Um, pin up, compare these two, the, when well, you see this color side by side, um, Pin Up Peach looks more like a mauve pink than, um, a peach, and, yeah, oh, my eye itches. That is, um, Pink Possibilities, such a pretty color. I have both of them on my lips, um, it just makes this pretty, like, natural lip color. Okay. Y'all are gonna hate me, but of course I had to jump on the vivid line. Oh my gosh. Y'all know I got these vivid like a long time ago. Right? Right. Oh, bro. So I, I had to jump on the vivid line and this one is in neon red. Now y'all know how I feel about neon red. I think I wore this in my natural um and bold lip Valentine's Day tutorial. And if you haven't seen it down bar. Go ahead and expand it and see all the links that I have for you guys. So, this is what it looks like. And I think I told y'all guys in that video that it may come off sheer, but when you take photos, oh my gosh, it looks like the brightest color I've ever seen. So that is neon red. It looks really sheer, but once you put it, like, once you put it on and stuff, it's a buildable color too. So once you put it on and you like take pictures and stuff, or when people see you, it's like full coverage, matte, almost kind of like a matte finish when you in photography. Gorgeous color, love it. And I also showed you in that video was Vivid Rose. Uh, Vivid Rose is a fuchsia. Um, it's um kind of like I don't own it, but it's kind of like candy yum yum. From the from the TV, so it looks like candy yum yum to me. But when I swatch it, it's totally not. So that is what it. Well, I guess it is. In the camera, it looks like it. But that is this rose. I don't know why I say vivid rose like that. I'm just like this is rose. But I like that color so much. Um, I like it. Also pairing it with just a basic T-shirt. 
or when I wear my um, Barbie t-shirt, which I will show you in my favorite clothing or my fashion, um, plus size fashion video. Um, but I love wearing these. I like wearing pinks and purples and sometimes reds with my Barbie t-shirt because it just makes me feel so girly and sophisticated and tomboyish, if that makes any sense. But that is the color. Another one that I got from Wet n Wild is Think Pink, which is a nude pink. As you can see, that, there it is right there. It's the brightest one there. And a lot of people, oh my gosh, when I wore this to school one time, this girl, she was so obsessed with that lipstick. She wanted me to buy one and she didn't know where to get it from i was like what why and she couldn't believe it because i guess it was like some it was like some kind of mac lipstick but it was too expensive for her and she was obsessed with that color so it's called fix me pink number 901 and yeah so it's such a pretty pink and oh my gosh i love it when it's matte but i also love putting it with a gloss on top or a balm it's just so pretty Another one from Wet n Wild, which is my absolute favorite, which I wear year round, is 910D Red Velvet, which is a matte red. And they got my hair in it. That's, that's not really there. But that is what it looks like. Like, I love this thing so much. I had to fuse it together because it came apart. Like, that's how much I love this color. So that is red velvet, which is a matte red. It has a blue tint to it, so it reminds me of Ruby Roo by um, MAC. I don't own Ruby Roo, but that's what it looks like to me. So yeah, it looks like Ruby Roo because it has blue in it and it makes my teeth feel really white. And you know Ruby Roo has like this Russian red kind of tint to it, so it's going to make it teeth super red. So these two I just recently got and oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. So let's talk about Passion Jones. For, was it Passion Jones? Yeah, Passion Jones for like two seconds. If you don't know who she is, she is this sexy, plus size, bodacious bombshell that does awesome fashion um, hauls and tutorials and for plus size girls and also makeup tutorials. And she did a um, spring lipstick haul. And the visits were in there. She did swatches, and one of the swatches was Shocking Coral. And so after I seen it on her, I was like, I have to go get it. Like, what, what am I doing with my life? Why don't I have Shocking Coral? Like, I'm not living if I don't have Shocking Coral. So I am living now because I have Shocking Coral. I love Shocking Coral. It's so pretty. Look at it. Pretty, gorgeous, bomb.com. And if you're not subscribed to Passion Jones, why? Well, put her link in the description box below or somewhere in the video in the annotation link. Hit that link right there. You know? Another one that I got, which I thought was weird because every time I see a vivid, you know, video or haul or review, no one talks about this certain color. And I was like, okay, so this is how I found this color. So I went to Walgreens. You know how Walgreens is, Walgreens cosmetics are like so obnoxious sometimes because as soon as you walk in the door, there's this big display in the freaking doorway. So it's like, bam, right in your damn face. And I'm like, well, okay. So, and not only is it in your face, but whatever you got to go to, you have to go past through that display area and so the visits was in the display area and I was like why well, have visits here when there's visits on the Maybelline section come to find out these are limited editions Vivid came out with their um, spring collection I guess which is kind of weird because I thought these were for spring lipsticks but whatever and this one is a limited edition one and this is in Pop of Cherry this is great for everyday wear because it goes on so sheer and it looks like you the second on the cherry popsicle all day. So that is Papa Cherry right there. It looks more pink. It looks 
it looks more like a hot pink than anything. So it's great for everyday wear. It really does look like you have been sucking on a cherry popsicle all day. So it's great for everyday wear when you want just that wash of pop of color. So freaking amazing. I found that limited edition at Walgreens. Go to Walgreens is in the this end of display area. You'll you won't miss it basically. It I found it next to the Kate Moss lipstick. So so I got two Revlon Just Bitten Kissables and I love the concept of these because they glide on so smooth and these are dupes for the Tarte Lip Sergeant um, lip balms and all the um, other ones that's coming out recently. Um, I, w I was looking for the Neutrogena one but I couldn't find it and now Sally Hansen has their own which is $5 for the dupe for this. So there's dupes out here. Um, even drugstore dupes for drugstore. So, yeah, I have plenty of drugstore dupes for drugstore. So, yeah. If you want to I, I might do a video on that. I've never seen that kind of video. So I might do a video on that. But this one, I know it looks scary and dark. This is in, this is Crush. It looks like a vibrant grape. It is just a grape color. I know it looks dark and you're like, that is not great for the fall. It is like the mother to um, Lollipop from Revlon, and I like it because it's just so what I guess. Um, but it's a pretty great color, and it can go on sheer, and it does stain your lips. So you know how the darker the color is, the more stain you'll get, or the stain power. So that is the concept of that. And I can't believe I'm getting all these flushes on my arm. Like that is cray cray, and that you can see it too. So. <laughs> Okay. Good. Okay. So another color that I am absolutely in awe of, and this was my first Just Bitten Kissables, is in Sweetheart. I love this. I love how the packaging is too because it just looks like a crayon. And that is Sweetheart, and it's such a bright pink. And it, it does sting your lips, and it just, it looks so good. When you just, if you want to just look like you're just glowing, basically. Any of these colors, except for the nude, will make your face look appear brighter. Or if you're like, if you just want that instant boost of like happiness or confidence, get one of these lipsticks because, honey boo boo child, you will get your own um, little happiness. So, yeah, so these are the spring lipsticks that I've been loving lately. And it's spring and summer. I'll be wearing these. These have like basically been in my little uniform and I'm dropping every single one of them like oh my god so okay. basically these are in my spring and summer uniform and I'm definitely wearing these to work because um six flags didn't say we could wear a bright lipstick I'm just saying they never said that so let's believe I'm wearing some bright lipsticks and maybe some new but that is my video that is my time so I, I hope y'all enjoyed this video Hopefully I have helped y'all pick out your, um, or give you some suggestions on some spring and summer lipsticks that I'm in love with. Some that I use year round, like Papa Cherry I'm going to be using year round. These nudes and the color whispers. And of course my favorite orange lipstick ever. So, yeah, so hopefully I've added to your collection or maybe I've just started your collection. So I hope y'all had fun. I had so much fun picking out these and doing the watches for you guys. So yeah, make sure you check out all my other videos. Subscribe to the channel. Like me so everybody else can see. Um, and you can help them out by expanding their lipstick collection and everything. And yeah, leave comments. Tell me what your favorite lipstick is. Because I realized looking at my lipstick collection. I don't have a single L'Oreal lipstick. Right? So, in the comment section below, give me some L'Oreal lipsticks that are your absolute favorite and that you just insist that I should buy. Okay? So, yeah. yeah. Leave your comments. Let's chit chat. And follow me on all the links below. Some links will be in the video and the annotation of this video. So, yeah. So I hope you had a fun time and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!